What's up guys, it's Kayla and Jim and welcome back to an exciting Meteorology Monday. We're excited to do a follow-up video on Twisters, the second trailer. I know we've been talking to a lot of you guys. Everyone's excited to see this, so we're very excited as well. Comes out in July, as of this recording. This is May of 2024, so it's coming out in July of 2024. Yeah, a couple months, though. So plenty of time for everyone to save up their money so that you can buy that popcorn <laughs> and the soda and the candy bars. What's it cost, like $50 nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit more footage in here. There's some new information as to where the movie's going uh, compared to the first trailer that we got. So let's let's dive into this and um, oh my gosh, it's just so exciting. It's the Twister trailer. Let's just, let's without go. further ado. Wendy. Almost like at the, uh, the oh, outdoor wow. movie theater in Twister. Look at that. Oof. Sacrifice the truck. Wouldn't be Twister. Ooh. We've never seen tornadoes Ooh. like this before, and we need your help. That looks like SPC. All right, fellas. We got PhDs from NASA, FEMA, and Kate. She's the smartest person I know. Hey, dudes. <laughs> hey, dude. I love her already. <laughs> calls himself a tornado ring. If you feel it, he is increasingly giving me Reed Timmer vibes. My crew's not like your crew. I can't breathe and I catch my breath. You know where it's Okay. Okay. Sometimes the old ways are better than the new. Well, you can always trust a guy who puts his face on a t-shirt. <laughs> are they selling those t-shirts? Because I'd buy one. Are those five? What? Yes, ma'am. Why? Here we go with the Dorothy. Put in the field. In the moment. Oof. Oh, no. I think we've been on that road. <laughs> yeah. Combining. Combining. Go faster. Let's ride. Why are you standing so close? What is happening? <laughs> a lot of thoughts there. The iconic logo! Alright, your initial thoughts to that trailer. Uh, the first thing that strikes me is that the, the CGI that they are using based on real tornadoes looks just so exponentially better than any other weather movie that has been done in the past! So, um, bravo Hollywood for making something that actually looks realistic having, you know, the radar is the SPC looking place, or we don't know exactly what that is, but looks like SPC if you've been there. And it, it, like just the realism, it's all the things that we use in meteorology, all the things that we see when we're storm chasing, it's all in the footage in this trailer. The one thing that I like, they kind of kept the same vibe from Twister, yeah. and that is older chase technology versus newer chase yeah. technologies. Yeah. And it's interesting with Twister back in 96, how you had some of the older versus the newer. It's going to be funny because the older is going to be the newer technology <laughs> from the Twister movie. Yeah. And then the newer is the very new like we're experiencing these days. So it's going to be very interesting to see how they work that. Yeah. And 
uh, disclaimer, we are going into this movie knowing that it is based on Twister, and if you've seen any of our other meteorologist reacts videos, you know that Twister doesn't rank the highest on the meteorological accuracy scale. So we do know that there are parts of this movie that are going to be, you know, throwbacks to Twister and not necessarily the most realistic. So we do know that launching fireworks into tornadoes <laughs> is very Twister, original Twister-esque. However, would we do that in real life? No. Am I excited to see it in the theater? Yes, I am. <laughs> and again, all we're seeing is just brief little clips right. of what they want to show right. us. So we're not sure 100% of the context around it, you know, <laughs> why he's launching fireworks. How many but, times know. have we seen a trailer and been like, oh, let's watch this weather movie. It looks good. And like the four minutes of the trailer were the only <laughs> yeah. Somewhat accurate. Parts. <laughs> yeah, so exactly, exactly. It it did take twists and turns that you weren't expecting with some of these other movies. So let's get into a couple of things I observed, <clears throat> and that is um, there's two spots, and we'll have to see the movie. But again, right. all you're getting is literally one or two seconds. But observing the part where the trolley car appears to be hurling down the the road toward Storm Chaser, the main character. Yeah. Uh, heading toward the funnel, yet he's not moving. He's able to just stand up straight right. uh, while it's pulling toward him. Right. And then the second one was the cab of the semi. It's kind of sliding over toward them, yet they're kind of just both standing there. Uh, and then all of a sudden, like, oh, okay, let's grab this you know, pole or whatever it is while it's still sliding. That kind of wind is not impacting them as much. So based on the trailer, already seeing a couple of Hollywood-esque type of things. Again, for the drama. Only, only looking at a one or two second snapshot. So we'll have to see it in context. But with that in mind, the trailer just, it leads to excitement to seeing a follow-up from Twister. I think a lot of folks are looking forward to this because Absolutely. I mean, Twister's just in a category of its own. I mean, it always will be. I mean, it, it's it always is. It, it, it's Twister. <laughs> it, it always is. E even if there's some spots that you know the CGI isn't 100 percent or the meteorology might be slightly off, it's okay because the, the spirit and the context of it is in line versus some of the other movies we've seen right. where it's like it's not even remotely close. As, as long as Twisters does not have the EF5 appear out of nowhere. <laughs> or a 6 or a 10 or a 15. Or whatever was in the OG <laughs> movie that just appeared and then they go hide in the barn with the chainsaws. As long as that doesn't happen. Which, speaking of, um, the part that we originally reacted to in the first trailer of them hiding under the overpass, we were like, it is not a very great thing to do. It is literally the worst option. You're better off laying on the ground. It seems that they kind of expanded on that in this trailer. And that is indeed a flashback to, oh, this is where we went wrong the first time, and now I've quit storm chasing. But I'm back now, and we're not going to make yeah. the same mistake. So it'll be interesting it's to see the backstory. how they play that. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm, I'm just hoping that in the backstory they include, please don't hide under an overpass. <laughs> um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. A lot's been learned since 1996. Yeah. So we'll have to see how they work all that. It, it kind of seems to me like some of the clips we're giving off very much that that made up drama in Storm Chasers. If you've seen that, you know mm. you've got you've got the, the Noah people, you've got uh, the FEMA people, and then you've got you know these Storm Chasers that are just like off their rocker, insane, <laughs> and um, it, it kind of seems like from the facial expressions, maybe there will be some some dynamics between the the groups mm -hmm. of people out in the field that kind of the drama and stuff like that so we'll have to see but that was kind of giving storm chaser vibes and the, the main dude i mean <laughs> i've i've seen storm chaser episodes with reed timmer and it kind of looks similar it's interesting also looking at this how if you've seen some of the other video the met reacts that we've done on yeah. some of the other things it almost gives me a little bit like there was some collaboration from yeah. either directors or producers for some of these other films because it seemed like it was a kludge of you know twister and you know There's 500 mile an hour storm, storm and and, and some yeah. of these other ones that they may have pulled from 
Yeah. To, because you had a, a fire NATO, you had, you know, all these other things. And it, it almost gave me that vibe where there was some sort of collaboration, maybe. Yeah. To, to put some ideas together for this big movie. So <laughs> Maybe they were like, hey, did you hear Jim and Kayla? They were reacting to our other movies. And they said, this wasn't accurate <laughs> enough. Throw all of the concepts into Twisters. And we're going to make it right this time. <laughs> we're going to redeem our names. <laughs> So, based on the research we just did between Twister and Twisters, we did find that Steven Spielberg did play a part in the making of these movies. Yeah, there's a, a couple people who overlap from both of them, so that uh, might be why we see some of the same themes. Yeah, I'm hoping for consistency between yes, the two. Yes, yes. It that is a challenge. I mean, think about this. This this has been, you know, <clears throat> 27 years. How old am I? 20? Yeah, 27 years. <laughs> so 27 years. Not only has the technology improved, but the science has has matured and you've got more things yeah. too to talk about and kind of factor that in. Uh, CGI has changed over the years. So, you know, to try to keep that vibe, it's gonna be interesting if they pull it off. Yeah, so we'll have to see. There was another part of the trailer where there's this huge tornado at the end of the street and they're just standing there kind of looking at it, which um, raises a couple of questions in my head. But again, we don't know the context for anything. We're just waiting patiently or impatiently for the movie to come out. So if you guys are looking forward to this, and we already know many of you are, go ahead and put your comments here. Yes, and let's we discuss. And we want to hear from you. Let's discuss. What do you think? Let us know what else. What do we miss? What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? What are you most excited about? I also want to see everyone's opinion on would they rather see real footage yeah. when it comes to the tornadic scenes and then cut to the actors and, and whatever the movie set is, or would you rather see CGI and to that degree, assuming the CGI is you know realistic? <laughs> what, what do you think? Would you rather see real footage or would you rather see CGI? This movie seems to be doing, at least in some parts, a justice to the, the CGI looking like real footage. And then there were certain scenes where it's like, oh, so CGI and the wind's blowing in the wrong direction. <laughs> but we're gonna ignore it for the sake of nostalgia. <laughs> so there you have it. Two meteorologists reacts to this second Twisters trailer. Again, as always, if you like what you saw, be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below so you never miss the next one. I think we got a couple more Twister-esque videos planned, so you'll wanna stick around for that. If you wanna follow us along on our weather adventures, check us out on our social media, Facebook and Instagram. We just went on a storm chase if you didn't see our last video and we post a bunch of stuff live on our Instagram and Facebook if you want to follow along. If you yourself would like to learn a bit more about severe weather or the basics of meteorology, go ahead and check out our School of Weather, which is a series of online courses that we have put together that we're super proud of and it dives into, you know, everything that you would start to learn in a college level intro class for a fraction of the price if we do say so ourselves. And you get to see our faces more, you know? That's right. I mean, it's a win-win. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Jim. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you at the next Meteorology Monday.